Hello everyone, this is a video of demonstrating me about the CS project, cyber security project. So our topic is to detect uh, intrusion detection in a network. So our data set basically contains train and test data which are, which are in CSV format. So our first step is to load the data set, load the libraries. Uh, libraries such as NumPy, Panda, Seaborn, Matplotlib and some scikit-learn libraries. Let's load the data set. So let's uh, mount the drive. So as I upload the data set in the Google Collapse, so I have uploaded the data in the uh, drive itself. Let's load the train and test data set. Let's see the first five uh, value records of the train data. So we can see that there are 42 columns such as duration, prototype, service flag, up to distance, uh, destination host service port and class. Class, there are two classes, normal and anomaly for our data set. So let's get the info of the train data. So we can see that there are 42 columns and none of, there are non, non null so that every column has some data. And there are different data types such as integer and object data and float. Let's just describe the train data. So we can see that there are 25,192 records in the train data with mean of 305, standard deviation, minimum 25%, 50%, 75%, and max. Uh, so it, it describes the uh, count, mean, max, and F for every column. So from this you can describe for 38 columns. Let's describe for only object type data, data type. So from that we can see that there are only three object type data types such as unique, top and frequency. Uh, so the sh let's get the shape. So shape is 25,192 records with 42 columns. Let's see if there are any uh, null values in our data set and sum them up. So we can see that there are no null values in the data set. All 42 columns are showing the sum as zero. So our data set contains no null values. Uh, let's get some visualizations like how the data set is uh, represented, how the classes are. So let's get the missing data. If there are, calculate the missing data. If, you are, if our data set is counting some miss columns or null data. Uh, so we can see that there are no null values or missing value. Let's get the any du uh, duplicate data in our data set. Uh, so we can see that the number of du duplicate rows or records are zero. So there are no duplicate values. Every record is unique. From C1, let's get the count plot of the class. Uh, let's get the number values also. So if we can from the, this graph we can visualize that the no, sky blue or blue color the normal has 13,449 records that are normal so that the network is normal for what 13,000 records almost and for the rest 11,000 it is anomaly like the network is uh, some detection like intrusion is there detected. So let's encode data. So we can see that the data contains some uh, string values. So you have to encode. So I use label encoder to both train and test the data. So we have encoded the uh, both train and test data. Let's jump into the next part. Let's get the train data. Uh, from this we can see that all the columns have categorical values. That is numerical values. Let's get the class next step. Uh, from this random forest class where we are choosing the best selected features. There are 42 columns. So we are selecting the top 10 uh, column, columns or selected features for this. Like all 42 columns uh, may not be used for uh, training. So we, we are using only the top 10. Like here we have uh, marking the features that selecting only the top 10 features for our data set. Uh, it takes time. Let's wait for a second. Oh. 
so we got almost the 10 selected features that are prototype type prototype service flags source bytes destination bytes count same service rate different service rate destination host service count destination host same service rate so these are the 10 selected features from the random forest classifier let's get the train data for the selected uh, features let's get the report train and test both the, let's get the shape of this uh, this 10 selected features we have this we have selected the data in 70 to 30 ratio so from this we can see that there are 17,634 records 10 columns right? 10 selected features for the train data and so for test data there are 7558 with 10 uh, selected features same for train and test let's import the time like how much time it, each model takes so basically uh, we have used three models that are logistic regression uh, KNN, KNES neighbor and decision tree uh, let's get to our first model that is logistic regression so for logistic regression we have max taken max of almost one lakh iterations so for the task time taken for each uh, time taken to uh, for this 12 lakh uh, iteration is uh, 0 0.09 seconds so I mean, it's uh, really like uh, some it's taking some more time for it is for train data let's get for the test data say for logistic regression model the test test timing is 0 0.002 seconds uh, it is taking less time so let's get the state random state for this uh, logistic regression that is 42 random state uh, let's get the uh, fit the model let's get tra training and test score for the logistic regression model we get the training test score as uh, 9.92 is 92 percent accuracy or test score we have got for a logistic regression model uh, let's get uh, let's some other libraries which are used for the uh, next uh, model i imported uh, optuna this is a uh, hyperparameter uh, framework uh, now our next model is uh, KNN, KNNS neighbor. So for KNN, what does it do is uh, there are two classes in our uh, data set. Like in, there are normal and anomaly. So based on the features, it uh, groups uh, clusters uh, the two uh, similar uh, similar records to that those two clusters. Like uh, some cluster having normal records and another cluster having uh, anomaly records. Let's run this. Let's get the train and test score for KNN model. Uh, so we can use a higher record than high test and train score for KNN greater than logistic regression is 0.98, approximately 98%. So let's get to a third model that is decision tree. Decision tree or uh, the time to taken is to uh, is 0 0.02 seconds and same for the test data it's 0 0.005 let's fit the model uh, so let's get the train and test score for the decision tree uh, so we can see that the train uh, test score for decision tree is for train is one like is 100 percent and for the score is 0.9 and so decision tree is performing better than logistic regression and knn so decision tree is performing better than knn knn is better performing than logistic regression let's get the summary of the train and score from this we can see that logistic regression uh, knn is having a train and test score of 0.98 with logistic regression 0.92 with decision tree the highest is a point if this is 1 and 0.99 so decision tree is the best model for optimal for intrusion detection system let's get some other visualizations for this train and test course <coughs> so the testing the data uh, so let's uh, let's test the data for other like data for the test data Let's calculate the uh, precision recall for this uh, three models. 
that is logistic regression KNN and decision tree so mean precision is a point minus 0.48 is approx same let's get the visualization so we can understand it clearly huh. so for, we can see that the decision tree has both uh, the precision recall equal so we can see that uh, uh, the more decision tree is predicting uh, correct records like it uh, it creating the uh, true values so the in logistic regression we can see that there are some precision is slightly less than both KNN and the decision uh, decision tree and KNN is performing good but is not as good as law decision tree let's get further intuitions over this so we have to test the data predictions are complete let's get the uh, final precision and uh, recall for this uh, three models so for the first model is KNN so we can see that uh, uh, precision with normal is 0 0.9 and recall is 0 0.9 and reference score is 0 0.9 so there are uh, 3035 true positive predicted values and uh, true, true negative are 63 so it's uh, slight means some 63 values are not predicted in true positive like it's not predicting it's predicting false and uh, 65 values are uh, having predicting wrong class in KNN and for logistic regression is uh, the true positive values are 3127 but the true negative values are 300 so it's higher than the KNN but uh, so you can see from the visual graph you can see that uh, precision recall have less values the uh, reason is that it's, predict, uh, it's not predicting for uh, well for true positive and true negative so like it's predicting some false values this this decision tree uh, in decision tree we can see that the it's predicting 3484 classes true that's good there are uh, less predict is not uh, no, true negative classes are uh, 14 like it's less predicting less uh, uh, for uh, you can see that less values are uh, neglected uh, not predicted Let's forget for F1 score for this all three models. Uh, F1 score for KNN is 0.98, for logistic regression is 0.92, and for decision tree is one. So we can, from this, we can conclude that uh, decision tree is a best model for uh, network intuition detection uh, for the classes uh, normal and anomaly. Uh, thank you.